Hi everyone, it's Stuart here from Happy Joy Joy Roblox. Today I'm doing a tutorial on Roblox Studio on how to make a zipline system similar to the vertical one seen in games like Battlefield 2042 and Apex Legends. So first of all, I'm just making a part which is going to be the rope or the zipline and it's going to go straight up because in the games that I mentioned then you can usually run up to these zip lines and use them to quickly access high up areas of the map so I'm just going to rename this now to zip line and you know it's only a basic system at the moment it can easily be improved on but I'm just adding a prompt into the part now using a proximity prompt so when you walk close to the rope then you'll get the message popping up saying hold down the E key you know and that'll activate the uh, the zipline function to make the player travel up the rope. So nothing too exciting at the moment, just renaming things and making sure everything's you know nicely labeled in the workspace. And I've added the proximity prompt and we just need to change some settings down at the bottom. So the action text is what the message says, you know, it'll say hold to do something. And then the object text is just a quick description to say what the part is. And hold duration is just how long you actually need to hold the key down before the um, before the prompt is actually triggered or you know does anything. So when we test the game, then you'll see now when we walk up to the rope, then you just see the message pop up, and it has the messages there that we typed in saying zip line and hold to attach. So I'm just adding a dummy here for the scale, and so we can kind of figure out how big he is and where everything can go and we need to actually make a part to demo you know to um, add the location of where the player will end up at the top of the zip rope when the zip line is triggered so we've just got a part here that's the same size as the humanoid root part and I'm just going to rename that to zip top because it's the top of the zip line <laughs> um, and we don't want this part to be visible because it's just a marker for the um, script to know where to place the player at the end of the zip line. So we're just going to make that invisible and turn off the can collide so you don't bump into it. And then I'm just going to highlight all three parts and group them together using Control and G and rename that to zip line. And then inside there we can add a script just to actually make the, the zip line functionable and working. And all we're doing obviously is we're just adding in the tween service, which is the service that Roblox uses to like move parts or move players around. And the tween info, this is the part that just sets the different settings for the movement to happen. So the number there at the start just shows how long it takes for the tween to complete. And then there's various different easing styles which just change the appearance of the movement depending on which settings you choose so it doesn't really matter as long as you just play around with it and choose one you like and then the numbers and the false at the end I have no idea what they do but it works fine when you just have it set to zero and false and here we just set a variable part for the top part which was the zip top and that's going to obviously be used to tell the script where to move the player to once they trigger the zip rope and we also just need to put a variable in there for the prompt itself so we don't have to keep writing it out every time so here we go once the prompt is triggered then it's going to connect the function which is the zip rope it's going to fire the player up into the air at the top of the zip rope and then they should be able to carry on about carry on about the way around the map humanoid root part here is the um, it's like the main part of the character but it's invisible and you can't really see it but we do need to use it because when the player is actually moving up into the air on the zip rope we need to anchor the humanoid root part so the player can't jump and move around to cancel the movement they're just going to be like basically stuck until the movement is completed but if, if you didn't want to do that and you wanted to be able to make the character jump or cancel the movement halfway through, then 
you would be able to un and you know not bother anchoring the humanoid root part or anything but you would have to then also script in the part script in the fact that the tween service was then cancelled and i don't know it gets a bit messy so it was easier just to anchor the player and you know anchor the humanoid root part so they can't actually cancel the movement and then of course you want to unanchor it at the end of the movement as well otherwise the player will just be stuck at the top so anyway let's give it a little test now we don't need the dummy anymore So basically we just walk up to the part now, hold E for, for the amount of time, and then we should go, whoop, there we go, straight up in the air. So now obviously it looked a bit basic, so we're going to add an animation. And I did create an animation for the zip line, so you can take that ID number there and use it on your own if you want to. Um, and I'm just going to rename that to zip line just so it makes sense. And we set a variable in the script to point towards the zipline animation so we don't have to keep typing it out over and over again. And then load animation is just going to be the fun you know the function to actually load the animation and then play it. So once you've actually triggered the proximity prompt, we then want to add a line to the script just to tell it to play the animation and that will continue to play until the player reaches the top of the zip line. The animation is the same amount of time as the movement so it should all work together nicely. And I'm by no means an expert at animating so it will do the job but it's not amazing. <laughs> you can see we kind of go through the rope a bit but you know it, it serves its purpose and it gets gets the job done. And then just to make things a bit more make sense, then we're just adding a platform at the top so the player can get to once he reaches the top of the zip line. And I'll just change that to a different colour as well, just so it's not the same bright yellow. There we go. So let's give it one last test. And up we go. There we go. We made it. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you found this helpful, then please like, comment and subscribe.